Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to the 423. There's always been some pretty stiff competition for the worst fan base on the internet, but fans of the Dolan Twins really might have taken the cake here. If you're familiar with the Dolan Twins, then I'm sure you've heard the heartbreaking news that their father passed away last week after a two and a half year battle with cancer. Both of the twins sent out really heartwarming messages about their dad, and for the most part, it seemed like their fan base was being supportive and posting really kind things in their Instagram comments and on Twitter. Well, all of that kindness changed into something really malicious earlier this week. Their father Sean's funeral was set for Wednesday, January 23rd, and apparently the information for the services were leaked somewhere online. After this, fans started to make plans to show up to the funeral in order to meet the Dolan twins, and to make things even worse, they started a Sean Dolan meetup party hashtag, posting some super insensitive things, joking about showing up to the funeral. I did see one comment on Instagram of a fan saying that she lives in the same county as Ethan and Grayson's parents. So she got a notification on Facebook for the funeral and saw where the address was, but I'm not sure if that's how it was initially leaked. There was also an Instagram account named Sean Dolan Funeral, and whoever ran the page says they called the funeral home, which is just insane. But either way, these tweets are absolutely terrible. I'm showing a couple of them here so you guys can see how insensitive and just how miserable all of these fans are for posting this. I mean, it's pretty clear that most of these super young fans have never been through any tragedies because of how trivially they're treating someone's death. I've also seen a lot of people saying that the majority of these fans posting memes and being super insensitive is K-pop stands because last summer Grayson pretended to faint in a video and when he got up he said we're like K-pop which was making fun of K-pop idols fainting on stage. So I guess a lot of K-pop stands now just have it out for the Dolan Twins to infinity and beyond. But whether this is the Dolan Twins fan base or K-pop fans, it's just 100% effed up. Ethan and Grayson even ended up having to tweet out telling fans not to show up at their father's funeral because they do both follow a lot of fans, so it's pretty much guaranteed that they saw at least a few really terrible tweets about their own dad going up and down their timelines. Grayson tweeted, We want this ceremony to be an opportunity for the people who had a close connection with my dad to say goodbye and pay their respects. We appreciate all of our fans so, so much. Please respect my father, Sean, Ethan, my family, and me. Send your love through social media only. And he followed that up with another one saying, Your kind posts about my dad have been heartwarming. Thank you all. Again, please do not show up at his wake, funeral, or any of his services. And then Ethan tweeted, If you are a fan of Grayson and I, we love you and appreciate you so much. The best way you could support us during this tough time is to not show up at our father's wake or funeral. Thank you guys and please, please, please respect my wish. So, like I said, it's effed up that anyone was tweeting these things out in the first place, but the fact that these two had to scroll through their timeline and see such insensitive things about their own father is just insane. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. Why would these fans ever think something like this is okay, not to mention funny? Are these people really that insensitive in real life or is this just for the internet? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.